Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week to talk all things sewing bee. Um, I'm sure you guys enjoyed the show last night. It was a really good one. Quite a tricky challenges. Did anyone else think that? The, so the first challenge was sewing high top sneakers, which I thought was really a really difficult task. And you could sort of see by the output how hard everyone <laughs> found it. Um, so in terms of this challenge, we don't actually have any um, shoe patterns on our site at all, but I'm gonna pop a link down below to a really fantastic company called I Can Make Shoes, who Rachel and I went and did a course with ages and ages ago. And she does online courses and also has got um, trainer patterns on her site, so you can buy them if you want to. Um, and she, she does online courses and in-person courses. So go, it's not an ad or anything. It's just, we didn't have any shoes and we were thinking, how could we give you guys information about making shoes if you're interested? But um, she's definitely worth checking out. So I'll pop a link down below so you can have a look at the shoe things. The next um, challenge was using netball, a netball outfit to make something else. Um, which was actually not as wild and bizarre as usual actually. They did make some really interesting things and I thought they did some interesting things with the pleats on the skirt. And then the final challenge was um, sewing kind of sports jackets inspired by a sports person um, they, they got to pick a sports person who was like their sort of muse for the um, challenge. So this week was actually really hard for us as the hunters, but I think we've done pretty well. There were a lot, and again, I think, you know, this is a, a collaborative um, hunt. So if you think we've got any of the patterns wrong, which I, I feel like we probably have this week, please like let us know suggestions because it's a team effort and if we all work together, we can find them. So. I think there were quite a few patterns that were duplicated this week. When we actually started looking for sort of sport sport type jackets, the options of patterns, there weren't a huge range. So, which makes me think that there probably were a few people who were using the same pattern. They also, I will say, definitely hacked the patterns. Quite a lot of them changed them um, themselves. So yeah, it was a bit of a tough week for the hunters. Right, so I'm going to get started. Um, the first one we've got is Annie's jacket, um, which was the amazing um, dark green and pink kind of swirl. It had this kind of geometric swirly pattern of, well, when I say swirly pattern, like really interesting seam detail. As soon as we saw it, Rachel and I were like, I'm pretty sure that she's done that herself. She's added that detail in. Um, we do think we've got the pattern right though, which was a good a good old hunt. So we've got the McCall's 8019. Um, I think this is right. Um, if I show you the line drawing so you can have a look. It's got um, a raglan sleeve. Um, it's got a zip up the front. It's got that collar, which was the same. That was the thing that made me think that this was the right pattern. And then I think she's tweaked it herself. Um, it's a really nice pattern and actually it took me quite a long time to find it because if you look at the first picture actually the fabric they've used doesn't makes it almost look more ready to wear than sporty but I think this is a really nice pattern if you're looking for something because I think you could make this as in a sweatshirting and it just be like a jumper but you could also do what they've done here and do use something thicker like a kind of fleece or a shearling and it would feel like more of a kind of jacket than a top. Um, it's got really nice details as well. I think this is a really lovely pattern, interesting seam lines and um, yeah, so I think that was right. So next up we've got, I think that Brogan and Man Yi used the same pattern. 
it had the both of theirs had these interesting sort of chevron shapes they approached it completely differently and I have to say I thought Brogan's was amazing with all the pattern matching it was great and Manu's was inspired by climbing and I loved that she used all she used all these different fabrications to kind of give the feel of a climbing wall which I thought was really clever um, so the pattern that I think they used was the Simplicity 8702. This is a Mimi G one. Um, when you see it, you can see the chevrons there, which um, Brogan kind of stuck, kind of, it was more similar to the original, but I know, I'm pretty sure this one is right. Um, it's got a little funnel neck. It's a great pattern actually, it's something that you can use and completely make your own. You could, it's a really good way to actually use up leftover fabrics. Um, you could cut, you know, play, play around with colour. Um, this pattern also has um, two different variants for bottoms as well. So you get a top and a bottom, which is nice. So you can do, get a matching. One looks more like a legging and the other one looks more like a kind of a slightly more relaxed jogger. Um, but I thought this, this one was yeah we we're pretty sure we were right so next up we have got again we think this is three people we're using this pattern and we could be wrong Angela Christian and Richie we think used the McCall's unisex 5252 so if I show you the line drawing, you can see actually there are a lot of variations with this pattern. There are a lot of different things that you can do with it, which is why we think they used, all of them used this pattern. Their, their items look totally different, but there's loads of things that you can do with them. And we think this, that it was right. Correct me if I'm wrong, people. So I, I wanna hear if you think you've there's a better option, but I definitely think um, in particular, um, Angela's jacket, was very was quite similar to the line drawing so I'm pretty sure that one's right but the other two I've just felt like they used this and hacked it it was actually really nice the thing I think Rachel and I really enjoyed about this one we were saying that it's nice like that they really did tweak the patterns made them their own so yeah but made it a little bit harder for us so I think those three use this pattern next up we've got Deborah so as the camera panned around, I managed to freeze <laughs> the TV screen and I could see that it was a quick sew pattern. So I had a look and I th think that she used the quick sew K3813. Um, this one is not in print, but you can definitely buy them on eBay and it's not a particularly old one. So I think you'd be able to find it without too much problems. Um, the link that we're going to pop is one actually to Amazon. It's quite expensive. I think it might be in America, but um, there is, there is, they are available on Amazon. But yeah, it's got the zip up front. Um, hers actually look completely different to this, but it's got some of the core features. The neck was the set, was very similar. I just think we and the seams. I just think that this is probably what she used, and we definitely know it was a quick sew. So. If anyone has any suggestions of what else it could be, let us know. Um, right, then we have got Jill and Chi Chi, we think use the same pattern as well. Um, it's a bomber jacket. Um, theirs were, so Jill's was actually quite a kind of classic, kept very much to the pattern shape. Chi Chi had the one, one sleeved, which was quite um, jazzy. Um, so the pattern that we think that they used is a Simplicity Bomber 8418. This is a really standard bomber shape, like bomber pattern, bomber pattern? Bomber jacket pattern. Um, raglan sleeves had the cuff detail around the neckline, um, a cuff at the bottom, cuff at the sleeves, and this nice little tab at the front, which was kind of like a classic, what you'd expect. Um, I th I'm pretty sure this one was right for both of those. So if you're looking for a really nice bomber, I, I think this is a good pattern. Um, it, they look really nice and their fit was good. So, right, then we've got last but not least, we think that Marnie, Christian and Steve used this pattern as the base. Again, all of them really did lots of different things with them, tweaked and changed, but we think that they used this pattern as their sort of um, base. So it's the McCall's 7986. 
again if I show you the line drawing there are quite a few options with this pat coat there's four different options and it's because of the seam lines this one is ripe for hacking so I am pretty well I'm fairly sure let's say at least two of them use this pattern as a base as a starting point to make it their own so that was it for us this week I'm sorry if it was it was a bit of a tricky one um I hope that was helpful and again if you think you've spotted the pattern and we've missed it let us know down below and yeah we can share what we found anyway we'll be back next week with another video have a lovely week and we'll see you soon bye <laughs>